Lake Ontario is breaking records in more ways than one. You, of course, have heard about the record water level, but there's another record that comes with a catch. James Gilbert joins us now live from Rondecoy Bay with that. James. Hey, Adam. You look out here and you see a nice marina with floating docks that should be able to handle boats. It's only about a quarter to half full, and the boats that are here are charters taking advantage of what could be a record fishing year on Lake Ontario. Okay, bye. Woo. High water or not, the fish are still biting. And that's what's keeping fishermen going, like Rob Westcott, a seasonal fisherman that relies on charters and hasn't really had a place for his boat all summer. You travel to my home port and it, it, it's deserted. You know, um, Brockport Yacht Club, it's deserted. Um, the public boat launch, deserted. He runs Legacy Sport Fishing and says this year's struggle has been the boating. Fishing's been fine. It's water. Fish live in the water. I mean, more water, they're probably happier. You know, um, fishing's been great. So great, in fact, that the DEC fish manager, Steve Vopan, says it's the best in decades. In some cases, uh, we think we, we could break uh, records in terms of fishing success again for Chinook salmon, uh, at least uh, for the spring and early summer. Also known as king salmon. They don't know why they're biting so well. The DEC says high water only helps northern pike. To the fishermen, their focus is on the catch. Most of the charter guys, got, we got to figure it out. We, we own small businesses. So when we see that, that that aspect, really it's just dock space or marina space, whatever the case is, we see that that's a failure. We have to go elsewhere and, you know, we, we got to keep the business alive. One of the improvements uh, with the fish numbers could be because of water quality. Uh, really a big push for the DEC over the past couple of decades has been reducing pollution really from runoff into not only Lake Ontario but the entire Great Lakes system. Adam. Very interesting. James Gilbert reporting live from oh, the Arundaquai Bay. Meanwhile, the Army Corps of Engineers is forecasting Lake Ontario to drop by about 10 inches by early next month.